Hi all, this was taken at the FIFA 19 capture event. I'd like to thank EA and the EA Game Changers program for allowing me this opportunity to produce this content. Massive thanks to them and hopefully plenty of content up on the channel between now and full release of FIFA 19. Hi all, welcome to this FIFA 19 Hibernian review ratings video. Basically because I support Hibernian for only fair to cover the team that I support and get an idea of what ratings they were for FIFA 19. Massive thanks again to EA Game Changers and the EA program for allowing me a chance to be at the event and record this for you guys. So because Smash looks awesome, awesome, sub to the channel if you're new for me to Twitter, G's Legend. All the links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. Now there's not going to be any standout cards so at least be aware of that beforehand. Now Bogdan, for me, yes he's not been playing a lot over the last couple of years, but for me I just don't feel his 69 rate is justification, but regardless, still ok looking stats. Effie Ambrose, been given an upgrade, plus one, some people might have thought really why upgrade him when he's deemed a bomb scare, but he is quite solid at the back. Hanlon I thought would be a lot higher still, but still, if he had over 70 pace for a silver he would have been very usable. Louis Stevenson deserves to be a silver, he had a cracking, cracking season. But the one for me, Martin Boyle, is the most insightful, exciting card. 93 pace, his card is up there with the fastest cards in FIFA. And that genuinely for me, if he was to get in form at all, he could be very, very overpowered and very, very popular. Heinemann physical is his biggest downside, but still okay looking stats if he can get the game time. Milligan, very consistent for a decent all-round silver, and 72 rated as well. I think if he gets enough game time, I think he could sneak in for him. He is the type of guy that could. Organ, obviously, he's coming over to us with, um, not you can't say damage good, but it looks a very nice all-round balanced card. I thought he was just as quick as Boyle, which shows what I know. Gamberry and McLaren, I thought both would be respectively higher. Now, McLaren shouldn't have got a downgrade grade of minus three. That's unfair on the guy because the guy had such a great um, second half of the season. Canberry plus three is a bit harsh on him. I feel he would. He, I feel Canberry should be seventy. McLaren should still be seventy three. Archibong, he is a whippet as well. But I'm intrigued to see who in real life is actually quicker between Archibong and Boyle. But both cards very nice looking regardless. Marciano unfair on this dude. Still being a sixty five deserves to be higher. Malin sixty four. I'm not going to knock it. In all honesty, he, um, yes, he started well for Hibs, but obviously you've got to factor in the whole season. David Gray remains a 64. He didn't have as much a season with Hibs, but start of the season, he has started off very well. And honestly, if he was to show this form throughout the season, you never know, he could have himself a cheap, cheeky being form. Marvin Bartley, his physical is insane. I'm surprised it's not even like 90. It's actually very appealing. Ollie Shaw and Sleefka, both in appealing cards, but Sleefka obviously has been given a downgrade on the pace and just in general, a bit of a shame really, so it might suspect that his card may not be getting the attention um, it deserves obviously from a Hibs fan perspective, so he could be quite a popular card to buy from an SBC perspective, um, especially in Sleefka's perspective, and same for Ollie Shaw, um, both cards definitely appealing. Laidlaw 61 raid, obviously um, interesting that he's in FIFA, but obviously he's the third choice. Ryan Portis, I'm surprised there's not much higher due to his um, performances for the under 21s and his youth development team. Um, obviously Fraser Murray and our other younger players that are in the team. They, these guys are, are just in the game just to give us an option. The biggest one that's missing is Darren McGregor. I'm surprised he's not in FIFA, but regardless, some really nice looking cars. McLaren and Boy. Now hopefully, obviously, Darren McGregor gets added into FIFA 19 because it seems a bit odd that he's not in FIFA, um, especially since he's been in all the other versions, so hopefully he gets looked into that. But as a whole, I'm surprised some of these rates aren't a little bit higher, guys like Hanlon, Stevenson, Gray, but still, I'm not going to complain, it's still a very decent looking team. Smash likes always, guys, follow me on Twitter, at Jesus Legend, let me know in the comments below what you think of them, and I'll catch you all later.